See, we have this thing in our culture where we separate like spirituality from the warrior path. Like they're separate. They're not in Asia, man. The most the monks, like the Shaolin monks. Those are Buddhist monks, and they are the most fierce martial artists on the planet. At the same time, both. The mountain warriors were the warriors, the people with the warrior heart, who took to the wild again, and roamed the wilds to develop their spirit bodies. They were the longevity sages. They were the great Taoists. Yamabushitake, that much I'm talking about that. And what it basically taught me was that we can combine the warrior part of ourselves, and some people just got that part shut right off. That's part of you. Turn that on. Use that with a warrior's heart. But combine it with that mystic part, that spiritual part. Turn both on. The Yamabushi knew that. That was their mushroom, and I learned that from the wild food. You know, because they were eating wild food. I mean, it's pretty obvious. But yeah, that's, I think that's really what's important here, is that we balance ourselves out, that we're warriors and that we're mystics, like the Yamabushi. Both turned on, both active, we become gods again. And for all of us who love great deals, there's no better deal than walking in the woods and finding foods that you otherwise would may have paid hundreds and even thousands of dollars for. The stuff that Dave finds at his uh, track of land on, on Can in Canada, where I had the good fortune of visiting him for a week at the end of the summer, it was amazing. And it was really a lot of fun, finding this stuff that you just... You pick this leaf off and like, wow! I just bought this last week at Whole Foods for you know six ninety nine an ounce. <laughs> and I'm going to have stuff in my pockets with it. And I'm like, hey, it's going to make a tea with this stuff. And his whole table, his kitchen table at his house is just filled with all these treasures he found. Whereas we're conditioned to what? Find sales, you know, and a pair of shoes or socks. I try to find our vitamins on sale. I try to find my herbs on sale at Whole Foods. I go, wait, I'm going to have a vitamin dealer on sale. Or try to get a good deal here. Like, hey, if I can haggle at a good price. We walk into David's backyard, which is the woods. And the stuff is just growing there free year-round. The stuff that, that grows there year-round. Do you find food year-round also? Yeah, where you? yeah, I do. Just like the deer does. I live, there's six feet of snow where I live in the wintertime. The deer live outside. Contemplate that. 30 below zero, wind chill factor, freezing cold, six feet of snow with a layer of ice on top of it. Deer live outside. Deer live outside. It's not heated in there. They're not cooking their air. They live outside. How is that possible? What's really possible for us? What kind of limitations have we put on ourselves? It's crazy. Shit! Shit.